All right, I wanted to do this quick tutorial. This is kind of a more utility, uh, utility uh, type thing for Cubase, but I think it's important because um, it'll help. It's basically organizing your plugins. Uh, and I've confirmed just through reading and Googling that this does work on PC. You just got to know where your um, plugins are stored. Honestly, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. Uh, but this is how you do it in Mac or on OS X. And uh, if I could show you how to do it on Windows, I would, but uh, I can't. So um, basically, it's going to be the same thing. You're just going to go and organize your folder. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to open up Finder. And uh, where I have all my plugins is under the main system drive, which I never named it, Untitled. Go to Library. And then go to audio and then go to plugins and then go to VST now a real quick warning this for some dumb reason does not does not work with VST 3 plugins uh, I'm not 100% sure why but it does not so click on VST and you'll see that I have just a bunch of kind of random plugs here. Honestly, I'm going to be moving that because it uh, I don't want it out here. Um, but Core, Neon, um, what we're going to do is we're going to put this window up here. Go to New Finder window. And really quickly, I'm going to go to this area because it's easier to do this with two windows open. Go to Library. Go to audio, plugins, VST. Okay. Now, as you can see, I have a little dash in front of the word plugins, and I will show you why I did this later. Um, but just to show you uh, how this works, when I click on this, I've made a folder for amp sims, channel strips, compressor, delay, distortion. You get the idea. Drum replacers. Uh, drums, EQs, mastering, limiters, melodyne, restoration, reverb, sound, now, sys, synths and keys, weird. And weird was just because I didn't know what to do with those plugins. So, as you can see, when I click on this, and these will contain all my plugins, but there's a reason for this. And uh, basically, what you want to do is, um, I'm going to go ahead because I know it's a synthesizer. Go to Synths and Keys, and I'm going to throw Neon in there, and then I'm going to go back one, I'm going to go to Drums, and I'm going to go up to Drum Core, because that's a drum plugin, and drop it into there. And I'm going to leave everything else where it is, because for some reason, these plugins will only update if they're in their original position or that's what the warning was when I installed them and it's not a big deal so basically what you do is you drop all your plugins by type uh, into each of these folders and the reason why you do this is because sometimes when plugins install they get put in random places and your insert menu in Cubase gets all kinds of uh, long and just kind of unmanageable and the reason this is why we're doing this it's to manage the plugins so once you've got them all cleaned up you know put your distortion in where it goes and your delays uh, compressors you know once you've stuck them where they go being sure to bring any key uh, reminds me if you have any plugins that you've purchased that uh, require a key file make sure the key file goes with it um, it's just one of the ways that they do authorizations and I couldn't honestly tell you what that key is for but make sure that they're in the same directory otherwise they will cease to work so once you're all done organize your, organizing your plugins this is the reason why you do that it's basically just kind of a nice way to easily be able to pick plugins up so we'll wait for this to load Q 
came in. And uh, basically, it just makes it easier to pick your plugins how you like them. And uh, I'm just going to grab an empty one. Or you know what? I'll just I'll open one. It doesn't matter. Just to open up. I just need a project open to show you this. This is turning into quite the tutorial over something very simple, but it's it's worth knowing. And uh, this works on all versions of Cubase. Uh, it's worked since I've been using Cubase all the way back to uh, LE1. Um, so it shouldn't matter what uh, what system you're on. My goodness, it took forever to load. All right, so this is why. When you go to select an insert, and this was the reason why I stuck the dash in front of it. When you put a dash in front of it, you can see how these are all in alphabetical order. If I didn't put this little hyphen there, it would be right down, you know, in here. And I like it to be the top one because these are all this, the plugins that I reach for the most. I don't really grab the stock Cubase ones. These are all the stock Cubase ones. And as you can see, there are VST3 plugs down here that couldn't be moved. But now, you know, I got my amp sims, my channel strips. I mean, I have a lot of plugins, so this is the reason behind doing it and uh hopefully that helps uh that's all i had to show for uh, this tutorial kind of boring one but that's uh all right if you have any questions feel free to ask thanks